So I previously made a video giving you guys some tips and tricks for how to build your vivarium using mods. And now I'm going to be creating one for console players because I know you guys can't overlap items and conjure certain things that I did in that video. So I'm going to be showing you how you guys can create a vivarium with item placement restrictions and so on. So let's get started. So right now you're going to see me placing down paths. I said this in my last video, but placing down paths is something that I like to do first because it helps me create an outline for what I'm trying to build. You can see right now, if I try to place this path over this patch of grass, it is not going to let me do it right. So one thing I learned while creating this video is that you have to be very mindful of where you're placing your objects. So if we move on to this section with the house with the tree in it, this is where all your bushes, your fencing, and some trees are going to be. There's also some decorative items in here as well. Here are all the trees at the bottom. I like to use these three. These are probably my favorite. So I'm going to place this one down right here by the entrance. I like to put trees at the entrance just because I feel like they take up some space and also makes it look a little bit more like you're in a forest or out in the wild somewhere. One thing I learned is that rotating objects in this game is very important when it comes to building. So I'm placing this tree back here and you can see if I rotate it, it takes up a lot more space in the middle so that gap isn't quite as big. Now moving on to bushes, these are one of the things you actually can overlap in the game if you are on console. So you can see that these bushes are kind of overlapping themselves. And I'm just going to place these around here because I feel like adding bushes around the trees makes it look a little bit more natural. One thing to keep in mind is if you want to have that kind of overlapping effect, if you're just mindful of where you're placing your bushes, then you can kind of create this overlapping effect. So I added these ferns on the side. And don't forget, you can change the size of anything in that white square underneath changes as well. So if you have a bigger bush and you're trying to put it in a small area, it's not going to work as well versus if the bush was a lot smaller. So you can see now I'm placing the smaller bushes around and it's letting me overlap them with pretty much all the other plants. And I'm walking around these bushes just making sure I like where all of them are placed. Moving on to fencing, you'll notice that if I place the fence right here, it's not quite as close to the tree versus if I were to rotate it and put it right here. One thing I like to do with the fencing that adds a little bit more to it is I will take these hedge fences and I will either place them behind or in front of the fence. So I'm going to place them in front and behind just to give you an idea what it looks like. This is what it looks like if they're in front. And this is what it looks like if they're behind. Now I think this is going to be a much nicer and cleaner look for console players, but it's your choice. You can design it however you would like to. Now we're going to go into this section and this is where our little cottages are and these trees. These trees are a lot bigger than the other ones. So I'm going to place this cottage down. Unfortunately, you can't go into them. They're just kind of blank, empty shells. So what I showed in my previous video is I like to use these pillars at the entrance of an area and you can place it fairly close to the fence. You can't overlap it, um, like I said, with the other items but you can put it pretty close. I'm going to build the rest of this fence around the cottage and now you'll see I'm trying to place this hedge fence right here in this corner, but I can't, so I will show you what to do with that after. And now to get rid of that empty space at the back, I'm gonna place this bench right in front and we're gonna make this just a little sitting area. Now you kind of have to compromise with these things and just find a way to work around it, but I think putting these benches right here actually looks really cute and nice. So that's one thing that can help you cover up areas like that a little bit. Now I'm going in and adding some little bushes by the entrance right here just to get rid of this empty space. So now the part I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for, using the building pieces. So at first this was really tricky for me a couple weeks ago, but now that I've gotten a better idea of where to place the items, it's a little bit easier for me. So I like to use these pillars on the side of these archways, so since I can't overlap them, I'm going to place them in front. I tried putting one on the side, but I didn't quite like that as much, so I got rid of that one and I keep them at the front. Then I added a second one and what I do to one side, I usually do to the other just so everything looks even and nice and satisfying to look at. So now that we have those in place, the space feels kind of empty behind them so I'm going to add these tower pieces. 
now that we have those pieces in place, this is what it looks like so far, and I think it looks pretty good, guys. You can see if I place these stairs right here in front and then I try to place these floors, it's not going to work because it's going to overlap with the item placement of the archway. So I'm going to put these stairs behind and we're going to see what we can do with that. So now I'm going to take this floor and we can place it pretty much right on top of the stairs or right next to them so that it looks very connected like it's all one piece. Now I'm going to go in and add some of these pillars on the side and make this area feel a little bit more complete, kind of like you're walking into a castle. I go in and I place these on the side just to give it a little bit more of that castle look that I'm going for. All right, so this is the final result after putting all these pieces together. I think it turned out pretty good. And the good thing about this is that you guys can do the exact same thing on console. Now you're just seeing me complete this area a little bit more. I sped this up so it's not as long, but I'm just placing down some paths and some fencing. I add in some little benches here on the side and put this fountain as our centerpiece. And this is our complete build, guys. So I think it looks very similar to the one that I made with mods. If you wanna go see my tour, I will leave it linked in the description and probably in a pinned comment as well. I really hope this video helped you guys out and gave you a little bit more insight on what you can and cannot do with certain items. I know that playing on console is a lot harder because there are item placement restrictions and you can't add quite as many items and stuff. So I try to make this video easy to follow and helpful so that you guys can get started on building your own vivarium. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.